Hello, friends. How are we? So I'm on nights this week. I'm fasting. So I'm doing a 16-8 fast, which means for 16 hours of the day, I don't eat, and then I have an eight-hour window to eat some things. Um, so I've just um, been to take the dogs for a walk, and I am super starving. We haven't got anything ready to eat, so I'm going to have to make something. So I'm going to do a vegan coronation chicken. It's actually a coronation chick. Because we are going to need two tins of chickpeas, a red onion, red onion, some raisins, sultanas, some, uh, some curry powder, turmeric, Hellman's vegan mayonnaise, I cannot recommend that highly enough, um, and then some salt and pepper. So first things first. So drain your chickpeas. I should really save the aquafaba, but I haven't got time nor the inclination today because I'm hungry and I just want it done. So empty your two tins of chickpeas. Then we're looking for my handy measurement, measurement, measurement. My handy measuring mug. So that's me. Probably want half a cup of raisins. Then I need some water. Just enough to cover the ingredients. A touch of salt. And some turmeric. Let's start the spice fest. Then get that on the hob. Let it boil 15 minutes. So while we're waiting for that to boil up, let's just get the uh, onion prepared. We'll play around. I'm just using the stuff that I've got that we need to use up. Onion, and we got the chili, and that's a lot of chili. And then we'll put some garlic in it. So you don't need any of this, but I like my food packed with flavour. And you need a bowl with a parrot. In the bowl. Then the mayo, I'm going to put one, two, three, three tablespoons of mayo. So two tablespoons of curry powder. I'm just using the medium one from Aldi. And just to give it a little bit of kick, I'm going to use some cayenne pepper. About a teaspoon. So on the sandwich, we're going to have some fresh tomatoes. So I'll prepare those now. So I just like to give a little sprinkling of salt over the tomatoes. So the gherkins, if you don't like gherkins, obviously don't put it in, but I think they just add a little bit of something to it. Text 
texture and flavour. Chickpeas are steaming up nicely. Okay, so drain chickpeas and your raisins. I don't suppose you have to soak the raisins, but I do think it'll put a little bit of liquid back in them, make them a bit more uh, easy to chew. Everything in your bowl. First, just give all that mix in. Make sure everything's coated. Oh yeah, that's a proper tasting like coronation chicken. Then the fun part. Just go in with the normal potato masher. And give everything a little bit of a uh, mash together. You can do as much or as little as you like. You don't even have to do this. construction begin. I'm not going to put any margarine or anything on the, uh, the bread. It's got plenty enough use in the coronation chicken. Chick. Coronation chick. So we'll just lay that on thick. Now one thing I would say is go easy with your spices the first time round. You don't uh, make it too hot for yourself. If you're not, if you don't really like hot, spicy food, this probably isn't for you. But one thing that the gherkins do, actually just cool it down a little bit. So the moment of truth, I do apologize. I'm not a big fan of watching people eat. Oh, that's good. So we've had some proper bad luck last couple of weekends, as I'm sure a lot of people have. And a lot of people have had a lot worse luck than we have. Um, we've just had bad luck in as much as the two things that we wanted to film over the last two weeks, we haven't been able to because of the storms. So the first thing we we're gonna do was go out on a job with our tree surgeon friend, Lee. Um, but obviously, 40 mile an hour winds, it's not a good look when you're up in 45 foot of tree. So that's been canceled. Um, he did go back this weekend while we were in the lakes to do it and still couldn't do it because the wind was too high. So we may pick that up again in the future, hopefully, because I do need some new logs. Um, and then I was hoping this weekend to capture one of the most interesting canals in the country, the Ulverston Canal. Um, now, again, there's no chance of me getting the drone up. The weather was pretty horrendous. The wind noise was just ridiculous. So um, we've put that on the back burner. I mean, here are some images to give you a little teaser. I'm sure as you can hear, um, the wind noise, or the wind in general, not just the noise of the wind, was pretty um, pretty horrendous. So we're going to go back to Ulverston. Um, 
and we're going to do a bit more exploring of the Haitian limestone pavement which we, um, we had a quick walk up to on Sunday um, fascinating place fascinating um, landscape I mean proper like wow and again you know we want to go back with a drone really because it's not going to do it justice just handheld cameras so <clears throat> Enjoy the little bit of footage of that as well. So back to the recipe, a um, couple of things, because I was rushing to get that filmed, um, I didn't cool down the chickpeas or the raisins. Um, I would have um, typically cooled those down with uh, cold running water. Um, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to let it congeal <laughs> while it cools down um, and have another butt you later on. Um, so yeah, and again, just be careful your spices, that's pretty hot. I can still feel it in my mouth, which is just perfect for me, but for you that might be too hot, so just make it as mild as you like. Experiment. Um, so that's it. It's been, it's been a bit of a, uh, a traumatic couple of weeks really, just trying to film things, having definite ideas and then everything just going to pot. Um, so bear with us. We've got a lot of exciting things planned. We could just do with some sunshine, though. And I think today is the first time I've seen it for a long time. So, you guys take care of yourselves and be safe. If you are here and you haven't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. Um, we do vegan cooking and narrowboat living and other adventures. <coughs> So, any of that interests you, please do hit subscribe and the notification bell, and that'll let you know when we upload anything. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching this week. Really do appreciate you all, and we'll see you soon.